This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area, and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. Because so many people are working from home right now, I figured I would give you guys a tour of my own home office to give you some inspiration to set up your own work from home space. A nice place where you can get your work done, stay focused, um, but mine is in a closet so that I can close it away and forget about it when I am not working, which I don't really Really know when I'm not working because I seem to be working all weird hours. If you're lucky enough to have a spare closet that you're not really using to store clothes in, a great idea is to turn that closet into a home office. Now I know that that sounds weird that like you're gonna do your office work in a closet and isn't that like a weird place to have an office and the answer is yeah it's kind of weird. But set up the right way, you can have a totally functional home office where you can work in, take meetings in, get creative in, and when you are done with work, you can close it and not have to worry about it. My husband and I are sharing the second bedroom in our condo as an office. His office space is set up across the room there. I did a separate video on how I set up his work from home space. He is definitely new to working from home because he formerly worked in an office, but because of current conditions, he has to work from home and I set up a really beautiful space for him. When you're done watching this video, I encourage you to go check out that video. I will put it down in the description below and also in the comments. Ever since we found out when we were gonna have an extra bedroom, we decided that this was going to be our office slash library. And I had decided that I wanted my office to be in the closet, also known as a cloffus. I decided that since I work from home and I do a lot of stuff from home, I'm a YouTuber, I uh, have my own organizing business, and I'm a singer, I needed to have a place to have all of my sort of business stuff together where it wasn't in like the, our common space in the living room because that's where that stuff was before in our last apartment and in our last apartment I worked at our coffee table in front of the TV which sometimes was really fun but most of the time it prevented me from getting a lot of stuff done very efficiently so I was very happy to know that I could move that whole operation into another room where I could really focus. There is a long story with the history of how this cloffus came to be. All of our closets were supposed to be totally empty when we moved in but they installed shelving anyway which was really annoying and we had to have them remove it. Uh, it was we definitely talked about it before we you know signed the pns this is please do not install the closets but they did it anyway so we had to have all of that stuff removed then when i measured the closet i made sure that i had enough space to put a storage solution in there and a desk solution since i didn't really want to spend any more money i already had an alpha freestanding shelving unit that i had had for at least 10 years i've had this thing for ever and it's been like 30,000 different things. It's even been a closet I guess a couple of times but I wanted to repurpose that shelving because A it's pretty expensive and I didn't want to just put it in storage and B I was gonna save money anyway by using what we already had so I was able to put a five foot solution in there and I think it turned out really cool. I also decided to personalize it a little bit and I put some temp paper, which is temporary wallpaper. The company is actually who created it is called temp paper. It was pretty easy to install, although I do recommend that you do recruit a friend to help you install this and do not do it yourself because I'm pretty stubborn. I wanted to just get it done and I just did it myself when my husband was at work. I should have waited till he was available to help me, but I didn't. So I have some bubbles and like wrinkles in places, but it looks pretty good. So you can't really tell, but um, I know where all the mistakes are. I took the next few weeks to really get organized in my closet office space. I had to redesign a couple of things. I moved shelves around. I bought some new products. I had some color clashing that was going on that really upset me. I wanted to create a nice soft color palette for myself so I could be less distracted. And I wanted a place where I could put all of my items for YouTube and store them and have it be at my fingertips basically. I wanted a place to put my webcam, all of my camera equipment, everything. Thing, and a place where I could take meetings and write and work and update my website and all that stuff and not get distracted because I'm an entrepreneur, I work from home, and sometimes I have trouble staying motivated and sometimes I need help staying motivated and that brings me to my sponsor for today's video and that is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on 
topics including illustration, design, interior design, baking, and a whole bunch more. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life, so you can move your creative journey forward without putting your life on hold. A class I'm enjoying right now is called Real Productivity, and it's taught by YouTuber and entrepreneur Thomas Frank. As an entrepreneur, I have been struggling with my task list and trying to decide what's important, and I have been loving the concepts he's been teaching to help me build better habits so I can be more productive instead of getting stuck in my head, which I do all the time. <laughs> Skillshare is also super affordable, especially when compared to in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. The first 1,000 people to join using the link in the description will get a two-month free trial of premium memberships so that you can explore your creativity. Special thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting creative entrepreneurs everywhere. Okay, I'm sure you're tired of me babbling. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the closet. So if you want a full layout of the land here, here is our home office and we have a library set up here. This is basically my husband's library. So, and that's his workspace. And we got some windows there and our couch is here. This is a pullout couch for um, guests. It only fits one person, but if we have, you know, one person come to stay, that is a place where they can sleep. This is a blank wall that I'm gonna be decorating and that's some stuff that I need to deal with, but this is the closet that I use as my office, and now I'll show you the inside. It's got two very nice doors. There's my office closet. So we'll start from the top and work our way down. Up top is basically where I have all of my books, and as you can see, I basically just have a lot of like music books and manga. Here's where I have all of my book sheet music. I have a lot of like my booklet sheet music up there, except for the mass B, B minor that's up there, that uh, Dover score. But I have a lot of my basic like just book sheet music here. I did a lot of decluttering of my sheet music in the past and these are the things I really like to use and use often. So here's hoping that I will need these again soon because I haven't had a chance to get ready for a concert in a long time now. To the right of the sheet music is my basically my filing boxes and storage boxes for some random things. So I've got one box has tech in it and it has basically music tech, my metronome and my pitch pipe and a keyboard, actually a rollout keyboard. I'll show you guys. So here's my rollout keyboard if I need to learn some music. I can turn it on and I can play pretty much. <laughs> so that's what that is and it belongs in my tech box. I've just got some other like computer stuff in here and cover for my iPad and this is the cover that I use for my iPad when I do concerts so that uh, it looks just like a regular like a black folder that you would have in in chorus or something. Um, it works great and I got it off Amazon. I think it only cost me like 17 or 18 dollars. It was really affordable um, but that is my like tech box. In this second box I actually do have actual files and in this box it's actually labeled writing because it's writing from when I was a teenager and I it's, I keep it basically for sentimental reasons every now and again I get one out and read from it it's so cute this is how much writing is in here I wrote so much I used to write okay I'm gonna date myself and embarrass myself, but I was a super huge New Kids on the Block fan and I used to write New Kids on the Block fan fiction and on the back of one of my notebooks is like this. How hilarious is that? Oh my gosh, look at Donnie's belt. Like what? Not all of this is fan fiction. Some of them are our diaries um, and there's a yearbook in there as well, but um, most of it is my writing. The next row basically has some tech equipment and a beautiful fake bouquet of flowers. <laughs> but my first box, these are water hyacinth bins from the container store. If if products are available, I will link them down in the description below so that you can purchase them. If they're discontinued, I'm sorry, but if they're available, I will link them down so that you can purchase them for your own office. They will be affiliate links that support the channel, so full disclosure. This is basically stuff that is for my work when I go see clients, so it's basically like my organizing kit. I do have a full tour of actually what's in my organizing kit as well if you want to take a look at that video. And I have camera equipment and some other stuff in here. It's mostly tripods and stuff to hold up my iPad. Depending on how I'm feeling, <laughs> I'll use, you know, whatever tripod. I do have a switch pod that I got from going to Vid Summit. Um, it's a product that is made 
by a group of entrepreneurs and I really like this. It, it's either like a selfie stick or it's a tripod. How cool is that? So the next row down, I basically have more office-y stuff. So I have a couple of books that I'm looking at right now. So if I'm reading books, because my books are all the way up there, you know, they're really high. But if they're ones I'm currently like thumbing through or looking at for inspiration, I'll put them down here. And I happen to like that they have like a nice pop of green <laughs> right there. Um, so I'm reading right now The Domino Book of Decorating and Grow Great Grub by Gayla Trail, which is a great book, by the way. Um, next to that, I have a gaming box and a book a box that's labeled old tech now this is basically it's got like my mini disc player and stuff in it that i don't really use much anymore but every now and again i'll pull it out and grab some data from these things so i don't use this often but if i need it i know where it is if you're curious to what's in the gaming box it's basically my game capture hardware and the cords that go along with it to when i do um my gaming live streams and stuff like that so i just keep it in a box so that uh, it gets prote it's protected and i don't have to worry about losing it and stuff like that because it's a, it was expensive i've had these little drawers like these little standalone drawers for the longest time and they are so functional and cute and they come with these little dividers although i don't like that they don't cover the whole drawer there's a little spot in the back there where the divider doesn't go all the way it doesn't reach all the way so i've stuck um, measuring tapes back there so that they they don't slide back and forth. But I'll show you what's in the drawers. So I've got basically office-y stuff, little clips and tape and labels. I do use this stuff, especially when I'm at concerts or rehearsals and I have physical sh pieces of sheet music. I use a lot of paper clips and all kinds of clips. And in this second one, I basically have tape, staples, and pens. Down here is where the interesting stuff happens. Got my old little trash can that I've had forever. This is a bungee chair and this is very, very, very comfortable. It doesn't look like it would be that comfortable, but man, it is so comfy. And of course I've got my computer there and some magazines that I have basically for inspiration. I look at these a lot actually. These are kind of expensive to buy. Uh, I, they sell these every once in a while. They're like, like once a year, they'll have like a special like organizing issue of like you know better homes and gardens and i always pick it up it's really useful for inspiration so if you guys see it in them at the supermarket or something like that pick it up um i have my one coaster <laughs> for when i'm drinking coffee here in my office my ipad lives here and my apple pencil lives here along with some index cards which i use for rehearsals and opera and stuff and i've got a little opera cd that was given to me of a concert that i was in and i love that I have a nice clean space to work on. Like there's nothing on the desk and I really, really appreciate that. It helps me stay focused and I really look, I get to look at this really beautiful wallpaper. <laughs> Here's where a lot of the action is because I'm a YouTuber and I take a lot of photographs and I have a lot of audio visual equipment. I needed a place to store that where I could get at it by like grabbing it. I didn't want to hide it away from myself. I wanted to be able to actually look at it and grab it because I have so many little, little tiny pieces like camera pieces cable you know adapters i just needed a place where i could grab at them and this alpha utility board was the best solution that i could find it clips right into the hanging standards of the alpha solution and everything is modular of course i've just got the basic like youtuber things i've got a microphone and its cords i've got some tripods i've got a mouse and i've got this is like stuff from my camera that is relevant oh my gosh pikachu fell down he's really important he lives there he is my little like desk companion and i love him i put this a little reminder of this is uh, this is an index card from my last opera that i was in that got canceled these are index cards so i can remember the words to numbers in Italian. And this opera did not happen because of the pandemic. So I put this here to remind me that the world will return to normal at some point and to just have faith. I have my scissors. I have a, a long Apple lightning cable. I've got my webcam here for when I go live. Very excited to go live tomorrow, by the way. This is being filmed. You'll see this. It won't be, you know, 
the day before I go live, but I'm very excited to go live for you guys tomorrow. Um, I've got bits and bobs, which is just kind of random things. Like there's like little covers for my camera microphone and data and like little like weird bits and bobs that I don't need to throw away, but I but I need to know where they are. Like, like that's a little like charging thing for my Apple pencil. And there's some little pieces, little screws that go to a light. It's like things I need to know where they are. So I put them in these little boxes. These little boxes from Container Store are the greatest things of all time. I will definitely link these down below. They're fantastic. Um, I hope they still sell them. So, uh, but I love these little, I use so many of these as you can tell. Next to it, I've got basically um, the mother load of cables. I have a lot more cables than this, but these are the ones I use all the time. I am a tech person and I just, I have a bunch of cables. We have adapters here, which I always need. I need, this is my iPad adapter. I've got one for my camera. I've got all kinds of adapter stuff. I've got, this is basically camera batteries. So um, I, I have like several camera batteries and their chargers. So this is where they live. And I've got ports for my computer here because I don't know why Apple took away the USB and replaced it with USB-C, but that creates a problem. So I had to buy a bunch of these ports. Um, this one it was for my old computer and now like I have this guy. So probably not. I'm probably going to buy like one of the really nice one, like one of those, like one of the Elgato ones or something like that. But this one has HDMI, so I got to keep it around. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> and this is where I keep all of the data for my YouTube channel. So all of my videos that I film are backed up onto these drives. And this is the current one I'm using. So wow, it's a lot of data in there. And I got my pop filter for my microphone there. And on the side here is where I keep my ring light. The ring light is for when I have meetings or need to film inside this office because the window is over there. <laughs> I, I'm sort of backlit. So I put the light here and then people can see me. In this little corner, I also have the stands for my lights and also the lights themselves. So basically this shelving didn't go the full span of the width of this office, but I used this little space down here to store all of my stick goods. And I think it was a really good use of space. Down below, we've got the printer and this is a box full of cables. <laughs> I used to work at the container store for a long time. See, this is a container store. And if you work there for like five years or longer, they give you, um, you know, presents. And this was a box they gave if you, if you worked there for a while, see it says Kate Patterson. Um, but now I use it to keep cables. <laughs> things these are the lesser used cables but I have gone frantically into this box when I needed something and been very happy to find it like I have a 3ds charger but like European I did need this when I went to Paris and I was like desperate to charge my DS and I was like what am I gonna do so I had to go to a tech store I don't remember what the name of the tech store was but I went there and I was so happy to find this and I had a good time uh, so that's where that lives, but I've got a whole bunch of tech stuff in there. And also in my office, I have a box for crafts. As you can see, it's labeled crafts. And it basically has all of the stuff I need to do to do most of my paper crafts. Like I have stamps and this is like a celebration thing that I use at parties. Um, I haven't had a party in a while, but maybe soon, hopefully, I don't know. We got another little banner too. Um, basically just crafty stuff. And this paper cutter, this paper cutter is awesome by the way. I use this when I'm like making cards for people's birthdays and stuff like that. Cause I don't buy birthday cards. I'll make a birthday card for someone cause I have a whole bunch of blank ones. So this is basically where I keep all my craft stuff. And um, I really like this box. I got this box from Marshalls. I got a bunch of these like little uh, gold dot boxes. And I think they're really cute. I use them in a lot of different areas in my house. So this is basically the whole space and I love working here. I hope you guys enjoyed this office tour and it gave you some inspiration about how to make your space neat and organized so that you can function and get lots of work done and be ultra productive. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and supporting entrepreneurs everywhere so that we can keep making content for you. All right, I hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. You guys want Clover, don't you? Of course you do. You want Clover. But he was sleeping. Clover Bean. The viewers, they want to see you. <laughs> he looks so tired and angry. Are you mad because I woke you up? Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Do you want to play the ball? Yeah? 
Do you want to play the ball? Oh, you have a runny nose. Oh my goodness. Are you going to do the dance? Are you going to do the dance? <laughs>